what is a transient ischemic attack and how does that affect your brain or heart or other areas of your body? Well, I'm gonna cover that in today's video, so stay tuned and don't go anywhere. A TIA or transient ischemic attack is kind of like a mini stroke, but we're gonna cover that in the next section and what you can do to reduce your risk of that or recover if it's already happened to you or someone you love. Hey, this is Lance McGowan, the Tropical Smoothie Guy, and today we're going to talk about Transient Ischemic Attack, TIA, or Transient Ischemic Attack is a mini-stroke that occurs when a blood clot blocks an artery for a short time, and the only difference between a stroke and TIA is that TIA, the blockage, is transient temporary, not permanent. TIA symptoms incur rapidly and last a relatively short time. Unlike a stroke, when TIA is over, there's no permanent injury to the brain. That's important. And there's no way to tell if symptoms of a stroke will lead to, to a TIA or a major stroke. It's important to call 911 immediately for any stroke symptoms. So you can see here the right internal carotid arteries here. The right vertebral artery is here and the right common carotid artery kind of down here and we're kind of zooming in on this picture so atherosclerotic plaque reduces blood flow in the internal carotid artery so you can see there's narrowing of the blood flow which restricts how that blood flow gets to the brain so we definitely don't want that all right and so when we hit next we're going to look at how that is kind of being affected so you can see if the plaque ruptures tiny pieces of plaque oh there it is it's kind of floating now you can see I don't know if you missed that, but um, it's there. And so tiny pieces of plaque and cause the clotted blood to travel in the bloodstream into the brain. So blood clots around that area, and when it causes too much of that, it can break off, and now it's inside the brain. We don't want basically dead blood clots in the brain or the plaque break off. So that's what's causing some of those issues. And we're going to hit next again. So a foreign mass traveling through the bloodstream is called embolus. So you can see how it kind of got caught there. And the brain tissue affected by that blockage is now dying off, basically. And so if it lodges in a small artery, blood flow to part of the brain stops, which will cause that particular kind of mini stroke. Or if that die off happens, that can affect different types of brain functions because your brain controls your mind, your mood, your memory. So. We definitely don't want that, we want to stay alive. All right, we're gonna hit next again. So the brain tissue recovers with return of blood flow. So in this case, because it was transient, you know, you kind of think of kind of in and out quickly, the brain tissue recovers with the return of blood flow and if the blockage dissolved blood flow to the brain tissue is restored. So, you know, that blood and that kind of little mini piece of plaque, although it was dissolved, it still went in the brain, which is not good. You know, you got broken pieces of plaque and blood clots in the brain, but at least it didn't restrict blood to the brain completely. So, you know, normal blood with plaque and clot breakoff is better than no blood or no anything. So that's kind of what makes the difference between this and a, and a full-blown stroke. There's actually, you know, some rec there. There's recovery. A TIA or transient ischemic attack is a mini stroke that occurs when a blood clot and you know, it just kind of clots an artery for a time being, especially one of the ones that go up to your heart, or excuse me, from your heart to your brain. And the atherosclerotic plaque reduces blood flow in the internal carotid artery, and that's what's happening. So the number one thing you can do is reduce your LDL or bad cholesterol counts, and that means trying to focus on 5% or less animal protein. And I know that's kind of hard for some people, but that's according to the China study and Forks Over Knives documentary is going to be a great place to start to learn more about that on Netflix. Or you can actually uh, watch the or get the book, The China Study. That's going to be great. And so Forks Over Knives is based off of the book. Uh, but yeah, you can also read the book. So if you don't like to read, you got Netflix. If you don't like to watch stuff and you like to feel stuff with your hands and, and read and flip through stuff, then The China Study is going to be an excellent resource to start with. And that is the most nutritionally fact-based information study that you can get it's it's awesome i love it and that is going to help reduce your risk of something like this happening in the future and the thing i always keep in mind you know like if something like this 
has happened to somebody you love, I would do as much research as possible so you can reduce your own risk. Or if this has already happened to you, then prevention is going to be top of mind. Or at least, you know, if you don't want to go through that again, because a mini stroke is one thing, but when it becomes a full blown stroke, then you know, there's parts of your brain that will deactivate or die off because it's not getting that steady stream of oxygen, nutrients, blood flow, circulation. So this is about constant movement of these, this, you know, life is in the blood and we just can't have any blockages. That, I mean, that's it. There has to be a way, and there is a way, <laughs> right? Uh, Plant-based fiber is one of the number one things to reduce this plaque, um, as well as cutting the stimulus or the source of that plaque. So it's like, it's, it's, it's kind of like limiting or eliminating the bad and adding the good. That's kind of in principle what's going on, but there's a lot more involved, obviously, like recipes and your mindset, what you believe, you know, fighting off haters, uh, social pressures to eat unhealthy, fast food, you know, convenience. I mean, there's so many aspects of that are, I feel like are more psychological than really just kind of fact information based stuff. But there, you, the more you educate on all of that self awareness and what you're susceptible to or not to, temptations, the more you learn about yourself and what you can do to improve your health, the better. Well, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button so you can get more video updates or click one of the links in the description box below to continue to get your learn on.